Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all. I got the world up for just one day. Watch this madness, colorful charade. No one can be just like me anyway. Today I got some repeat purchases that I always like to share with y'all, but I also came across some other fun things, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Everything is kind of mixed up, so I'm just going to pull things out and kind of talk about them and tell you what I'm using them for. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Logan and I post new content every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon. I try to share a Dollar Tree haul each week with y'all. So if you are into Dollar Tree hauls and tons of cleaning motivation, home decorating content, anything like that, please hit that red subscribe button below. There's also a little bell next to that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell, you will get a notification sent straight to your phone, computer, however you get your YouTube notifications, and you will be notified when each video goes live. So first, I'm just going to talk about an item that I'm wearing. If you watched last week's Dollar Tree haul, I was wearing this little tie-dye headband in that video. I just fell in love with these. I mentioned that they have super similar ones on Amazon. Headbands are super on trend right now. Tie-dye is super on trend. I love stripes. These are the two that I have picked up, but I am probably going to get more. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I love to wear hats. I also love headbands. When the headbands that go like around your forehead and your head were popular, I wore them like crazy in high school. I have just always loved hair accessories. I blame that on my mom. <laughs> Every picture when I was little, even when I was playing t-ball, I had a big bow in my hair. Just a southern thing, I guess. But anyway, I love hair accessories. So if you like headbands, scrunchies, different little clips and barrettes, check your Dollar Tree right now because mine has a whole display of these items for a dollar, of course. So this is the one I wore in last week's Dollar Tree haul. This is the one I picked up this week. It is just blue with stripes. Super cute, whether your hair is up or down. Just a fun way to spice up your look. This is what the packaging looks like. So I just wanted to share last week's again. And if you wanna go back and watch that Dollar Tree haul, I will have it linked in the description box below. While we are on the hair subject, I shared this last week, and of course, I saw it again this week and had to pick one up. It is Dry Shampoo, brand name. I have picked up this brand at Walmart and CVS before, so I was super excited to see several cans of it at my Dollar Tree. So, if you love Dry Shampoo like I do, definitely check your store for that. This hairspray, I'm not going to lie to y'all, it is not my favorite. It does not smell great, but I've mentioned in a lot of videos that I don't wear hairspray daily. I just, I mean, when I curl my hair, I'll spray it. And sometimes before like my workout class, I might spray like my bun so that it doesn't fall. But I'm not a huge hairspray person unless I'm like curling my hair for an event or a special occasion. So I just pick it up at Dollar Tree since I don't use it a lot. And there is a pink can that I prefer from Dollar Tree, but my store didn't have it. Um, this works well, like it's a really powerful spray and holds well. I'm just not crazy about the smell. I'm a big smell person. I actually love this brand's hairspray because it smells so good. I'm a sucker for anything that smells good, but if you are looking for just 
like an everyday hairspray that you don't want to spend a lot of money on. Maybe you don't use a lot of hairspray. This one gets the job done. My store has been having a lot of energy drinks. And I think this is a brand that like Dollar General, Dollar Tree like usually has. But they don't always have the Rockstar energy drinks that I shared last week. This one is in a larger can. I think the other cans are 12 ounces. This is 16 ounces. And the brand name is Rip It Energy Fuel. It is sugar free, no calories, no carbs. And I'm assuming this is maybe like a blue raspberry, something like that, since it has blue on the can. But it just says power is the flavor. But Ethan likes to have an energy drink in the mornings when he doesn't make coffee. So I just pick these up to keep them in the fridge for him to grab in the mornings. He hasn't tried this one yet, but I'll let y'all know in my next Dollar Tree haul what he thinks about it. I picked up another six pack of the Crystal Geyser Natural Spring Water. We always have bottled water just so we can toss it into the cooler on the weekends or Ethan and take them to work whatever but for some reason Ethan really like he asked where I got this water and said that it tasted like better than any of our other bottled water to him I honestly haven't noticed I usually just drink from my Brita like fill up my big cup during the day instead of using bottled water but he really liked this brand i'm sure they sell the case of it at walmart so i'll just get this one from walmart next time but anyway he really liked the taste of this so i picked up a six pack of this they did not have the strawberry lemonade today but i did pick up a blueberry if you have watched any of my Dollar Tree hauls, you already know that I pick up strawberry and blueberry lemonade every week. This tastes great. It's a great value. If you want to give maybe your kids a lemonade that has a lot less sugar in it than some lemonades and drinks like that, if you are trying to cut out some sugar or cut out soft drinks and you are looking for something to substitute for anything like that. I highly recommend trying the blueberry and strawberry lemonade. The blueberry has five calories, one carb and no sugar. And the strawberry numbers are really similar, but I know the strawberry has like 40 calories and maybe like one gram of sugar. It has a little bit more of the calorie and sugars but they are both really great like healthier options than soft drinks. Lily is on the ottoman like watching me and literally when she saw me take these out of the bag and like heard the bag she looked at me. She knows when she gets some treats but I have been giving Lily one of these every day for over a year now I always pick up a bag at Dollar Tree in case they don't have them when I run out. It is by the Supreme brand, Skin and Coat Dog Treats. Lily eats a salmon and pea dog food, and I have found that she really loves these salmon treats, and they really help skin and coat. They have omega-3 and 6 fatty acids and zinc number one ingredient is salmon so lily loves these i picked up another basket this is one of my favorite baskets i have several of these these are actually the baskets that i have under my bathroom sink and i keep like hair products moisturizers things like that in it and I also have a couple of these in my kitchen where I keep some cleaning products. So this gray color is of course my favorite color to purchase because it matches my house really well. 
it's really cute for a gift basket or, you know, if you have kids, a dog, and you want a little basket to keep like toys or little coloring books, things like that. This is a great basket. It's really sturdy. Some baskets at Dollar Tree are really flimsy. This is a great quality basket and it's a good size. And they usually have it in several different colors. I never can have too many baskets because I love to organize cabinets and closets and put things into baskets instead of just leaving them out in cabinets and under shelves and things like that. I picked up this nail polish. I have never purchased a nail polish from Dollar Tree, but this color was just beautiful. I, I'm not gonna show you all my toes right now, but this is super, super similar to the OPI color that I have on my toes right now from my pedicure. And I have shared the Impress nails a whole lot. Those have been my go-to for over a year. I have lately been using the Kiss like natural look acrylic. I'm planning on doing another nail video for y'all really soon, just to kind of show you the nails and how I apply them and all that good stuff. But these stay on almost as well as the Impress nails, but I really love the natural look. But I've also been on the lookout for a pink color that matches my toenails since I usually go get my toes done, but I do my own nails. And this is number 527 and it is called Delicate. And it is super similar to the color on my toes right now. So I'm planning on painting the acrylic nails that I'm wearing with this color. I shared a really cute coffee mug in last week's video and told y'all that like literally the cabinet where I have coffee mugs is overflowing. I do not need any more, but they are putting out some really cute ones. So this one says bloom where you are planted. It has the cute little galvanized bucket with the flowers in it. It has a little ladybug. I love the writing, the saying, everything. It is just so cute. Again, it has the print on both sides. So whether you are left or right-handed, you will be able to see the message on both sides. I have last week's cup right here just to share it if you missed last week's video. Be the person your dog thinks you are. Another cute one, they had lots of cute cat and dog sayings, things like that. So definitely check out the coffee mugs. I'm sure they will be putting out some super cute fall ones soon. They also make great little gift items. So if you have a friend who like loves their dog, you could get them something like this. Someone who loves flowers, they would love this one. Just a cute little happy for someone or a gift basket edition or just treat yourself to a cute new coffee mug. I never see these at my store so I went ahead and grabbed one because I'm always going through these. It is by Sure Scents and it is a lavender scented oil refill. It says across the top Fitz Airwick oil warmers, which is what I have. I don't know about the throw on this. I love lavender scented things, but I don't know how strong it will smell. I don't know how long it will last. Like I said, my store never has the oil warmer refill, so I just grabbed it to give it a try when I could. I have an Airwick plug-in in like every single room and in larger rooms, I have two of them. I just love anything that smells good. So I will probably try this one like in my laundry room or in my office, one of those rooms where I have an Airwick and just see how the smell is on this. I will let y'all know. I came across this super cute candle. On the candle aisle, they had put out several 
handles that I hadn't seen at my store before. I don't know if they are new. Sometimes my store takes a long time to get like new candles and things like that. But it is a little succulent and the wick is on top and it looks like it's in a little like terracotta pot and the pot says love grows here. Again, this would be a really cute gift item for someone who loves succulents and plants and things like that. I will probably put it on my tiered tray. I love to use little succulents and terracotta pots and things like that around my kitchen and on my tiered tray. While I was looking at the nail polish, I picked this up. I don't know what you would call this combination of pedicure items, but it's got like the little stone and the brush and the thing that looks like a grater. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. It doesn't have like a name on it, but I just picked this up for like between pedicures. I'm just going to hang it in the shower. I liked that it had the little string on the end so that I can hang it on the little rack that we have in the shower. I love to pick up gift bags when I see them, little gift items, things like that. I also mentioned in my last Dollar Tree haul that I love to get like party supplies at Dollar Tree as well. And when I see cute ones, I just go ahead and pick them up because like I said, I have friends who are pregnant, who are getting engaged and married. So I may or may not be hosting like some showers or parties in the upcoming year. So I just thought these square plates were really, really cute. Things like this look so much more expensive than a dollar. I also love the square look. I feel like it looks much more expensive than it is. I loved the florals, the little bumblebees. I instantly thought this would be so cute for like a little girl's baby shower, a bridal shower, a bridesmaid's brunch, you name it. But I always just pick up these little items. You get 12 of these. I thought they would look really cute, just kind of accented with this light pink color. These are just the round paper plates that Dollar Tree always has. Um, you get 20 of these. So I just picked those up to go together. I also picked up plastic forks and plastic spoons. Super convenient. I am really bad about like eating in the car or like taking things, eating wherever I'm going. You can take like a, one of those little tuna packs or a yogurt, so many different things. And I just like to have plastic forks and spoons on hand to like travel with. So I just kind of happen to see these items on the aisle where they have like socks and t-shirts, things like that. They're actually really thick, heavy quality. I got a little welcome mat last spring from Dollar Tree. It was super cute, but it was very thin. I ended up having to throw it away, but for a dollar, if it's cute, go ahead and get it. But these are really thick, nice quality. The back is like rubber. And it's almost kind of like a carpet look. And in white, it says our nest. And I love how kind of long and skinny it is compared to the other mats that I've seen at Dollar Tree. And I like to layer, like I have an outdoor, like a larger outdoor rug on my back patio. And I like to put like a cute little mat on top of it. So these are a great size for layering. I picked up two of them, one for the front, one for the back. So I got the kind of light gray and dark gray mixture of carpet look. And it says our nest, really cute and farmhouse. I think I'm going to put this one on the back 
in front of the back door, but it is also gray, but a little different carpet look to it. And it says, this is our happy place. I thought they were both really cute and a great quality compared to the little doormats that I have seen at Dollar Tree in the past. Thank you so much for watching my latest Dollar Tree haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below before you leave. If you missed my last Dollar Tree haul that I referenced a lot in this video, I will have it linked below. Comment below and let me know if you have found any of these items at your store. Let me know if you have tried them and if you loved them or didn't love them. Let me know if there's a product that you swear by that you have never seen me purchase and share in a haul. I would love to try it. I love to try new things at Dollar Tree and let y'all know what I think about them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.